today I am doing a recapping. No, not Senor Sanyo, I'm leaving him alone <laughs> for once. I'm gonna do a recapping today on Senor Onkyo. <laughs> I actually have very mixed feelings about today's <laughs> session here, a uh, recapping session. I'm gonna use my uh, desoldering um, gun here, my desolderer, for the first ever time. <laughs> and um, I'm excited about it, but at the same time I'm nervous in the sense that, okay, I hope it is as good as it seemed the first time, because this is going to be the first heavy use. I'm a bit apprehensive because Senor Onki over here has become dear to me in such a short amount of time, and I haven't even used it properly. So I am kind of nervous of opening this up the same way as I was with Senor Sanyo. <laughs> you know, but I became so used to opening <laughs> So let's get started. scary you know to you and it does to me as well to be honest don't get me wrong but at the same time it doesn't you know why because thank god <laughs> there's everything every component here is actually labeled and just like it was in my Marantz repair I love the way they used to do this I just this you don't get electronics like this anymore <laughs> So much easier to know where their capacitor is <clears throat> without having to kind of keep looking at the back to see which one it is. You know, it just makes things so much easier. It's like a circuit diagram here almost. for almost three hours and I know for a fact that without this desoldering gun it would have been double that easy seriously it's too much anyway 
Okay, so just before I go to sleep, I found something. Uh, do you remember that uh, really abrupt eject that was uh, going on, the eject mechanism? I was not comfortable with that. Now I've always heard that a smooth eject is the best thing, and this is hardly a smooth eject. There seems to be this thing here which adjusts, you know, there's like a piston or something which kind of is connected to the door. And I think adjusting this or tightening this screw will kind of make it come out slower. And I think the uh, my JVC KDA5, it's got the opposite problem. You eject it and it doesn't actually come out, you have to pull it out the rest of the way. So it's kind of like too much. So let's kind of check the eject mechanism now, now that I've done that. It's not as <laughs> it's still, you know, I'd rather it nicely coming out like this, and there's nothing else to tighten. It's either one thing or another. Senor Sanyo didn't eject right at the beginning, and this thing freaking ejects too much. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up the recapping tomorrow. There's actually not much left. I think I need a break anyway. <laughs> Definitely need a freaking break. Okay, see you in a couple of seconds for you. Buenas noches. Good morning. Well, the last hour of the freaking morning. <laughs> I woke up late because obviously I slept late doing this stuff. Alright, so let's continue with this, um, what's you call it, recapping, because I want to get this done. So I've done uh, recapping this board completely. Um, this board, I've just recapped this one <laughs> because that's the only value I had on this board. I must have missed something on the surface manual because um, a lot of, you know, the capacitors that I need to recap are just I don't have or they just didn't come or something. So something's gone wrong somewhere. But I managed to recap this board completely, the main board completely except for this, uh, which I'm going to do now. Uh, this part here I recapped completely so I can enjoy this because I've been wanting to do this I've got a few things to record and I want to just I'm gonna start using this stick for recording Why are you not going inside for? Am I putting you in the wrong way? Yeah, it's just no freaking spaghetti of wires here It just has to be doesn't it because you need to connect one board to the other though I like the idea of this why can't they just have one thing that just does that but I want this done, which is why I'm, you know, I'm going all over. Really, really, really. Because <laughs> I just like. <laughs> it's freaking glued in that one, isn't it? Blue. Here we go. That's that life. Okay, let's not try and take all of these at once because they'll, I'll not know which one's which then, so it's kind of. But this one, this one first. 1000 off and 35 volts. So 35 volts, 1000 off. 35 volts, 1000. Oh, I think that's the one. So look. 35 volts and a thousand. Oh, yes, that's the one. <laughs> okay, let's take this out. Do you know, the time actually hasn't gone um, with the desoldering, like normally with a wick or anything. It's actually gone more with the searching for freaking capacitors. <laughs> Other than that, it would have been fine. Yeah, let's try and make this cool and desolder it freaking from here backwards, eh? Hey? 
That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Just make one hard one out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't go nuts. <laughs> I was uh, just about to say I'm losing it, but then I think it's a bit too late now. I think many of you know already that I lost it. <laughs> why are you freaking not melting? Oh, because the freaking iron fell asleep, that's why. That's what I like about these hackos or the wet one which I have, which is like a hacko wannabe. Which is still a good hacko wannabe, to be honest. Soldering and when you don't use it for a little while, it actually falls asleep, as in the temperature cooled down. And it goes into slop more. <laughs> slop is an SLP. It's only got three digits. So it's your slap mode. <laughs> yeah, it's f***ing uh, paranoid thing there. Okay, good. Okay, which one's this? This is 2200 of... <laughs> and 25 volts. <laughs> we saw them just... Yeah, we did. They're here. 2200 of... What was it? 25 volts. Well, 35 volts. Why they you can have... And 10 extra voltage. 10 extra volt. 10 extra voltage, you're a freak. 10 extra <laughs> volts of, um, you know, leeway for you, dude. Why am I talking to capacitors? Freaking first sign of madness. And then again, it's like freaking, I've had 15 signs of madness already. <laughs> Forget first sign. It's the same value, and I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna be careful because I'm. Please come off. Shit, why is this one left? I don't want to break this freaking PCB. Stupid glue. Why do you have to glue it on? There's no point. Is it not going to stick on? Is it going to freaking desolder itself and run away? <laughs> I just pictured a capacitor doing that. It's cute. I've go chase a capacitor around the freaking house. Freaking running away with its two legs. Hey, thank you. Okay, 2200 of... Oh wait, 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 there's a tiddly here. Why did I soldier the other one in? Because I need to remove this tiddly one and change that to... Okay, let's do that. Let's pokey wokey this one out too. <laughs> so, that's all the capacitors taken out of Pignoronchio and replaced. Yeah, all that's left now is just to put Signor Onkyo back together again. Freaking sounded like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Freaking! Thank God he didn't sit on a wall and fall down. I'll have a bigger job. <laughs> Who came up the idea with a giant freaking egg sat on a wall? It's just it's true. Who thought up of a freaking egg sat on a wall? Or Humpty Dumpty? He's shaped as a freaking egg, isn't he? And falls down. Just breaks into a thousand pieces and all the freaking king's horses and men. How can a horse put together an egg? It makes you think all these where they come from. What the freak were they smoking when they came out of this? Or like freaking snorting banana skins. <laughs> okay, so let's just switch that off because we don't need it. Let's unplug the desolder. find out later on <laughs> another video yes I know it's a tease I'm sorry yes I've just been having a fit of laughter <laughs> because the only thing left to do really is to spray these um, dioxide into the variable resistors so it's just kind of that's where I'm having freaking giggle fests. Where's the hole for this? Oh, there it is. That is the output volume. Now, what needs it a lot is the recording level. So. See, look, my thing is in slap mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
moment of truth time. <laughs> I'm actually always nervous uh, when it comes to this point after I've recapped. As you probably noticed when after I recapped the C64 and all that. Even attempted recapping the Amiga. <laughs> so I've always been nervous at the end. So I'm like, does it work? Have I screwed it up? Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's put my, my lucky lemon on here. Lucky lemon. Not that I actually believe that it'll do something. But... Nice to have a lemon there. <laughs> okay, let's plug this in. Mm. It's plugged in. I'm nervous. Oh. But it switches on. <laughs> and there's no poof. Like puff of smoke. Let's, um... I've connected it with the speakers. It's kind of so. What? Oh. Okay. It scared me then. The timer's on. Why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? <laughs> ah! That's why! You stupid freak scared the freak out of me. <laughs> <laughs> scared me! I thought I goofed it up. Okay, so that's it for today. We have... Uh, I'm glad this is done. I'm actually relieved, very relieved, and uh, it works, there's no puff of smoke or anything like this, but in part 3, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a recording test and more intense testing on this, and uh, I'm going to do a comparison, like I've already recorded this recording before doing a recapping, and I'm going to record again after recapping and let's see if there's any difference or anything like this, so yeah. <laughs> You'll see. I'm glad it's working. I'm relieved. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for your likes, your shares, and uh, do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to check out my other videos and to subscribe for more. I almost said it wrong then. <laughs> anyway, so for now, I will say adios.